we got Dom Arman. Step brothers go to war over the same girl. Oh no, featuring Julian Ho. Hopefully, I said that. Our man fam today i'm excited to be collaborating with the lunch lady aka the Juliana, lunch lady if, what do you watch today she's video, a lunch lady you'll see what i'm talking about you've got an exciting announcement i do first of all i don't know what's on the menu <laughs> even though i am the lunch lady but um yeah i have a new book coming out it's called congrats on the book everything we never knew all right let's get to it <laughs> inspired by goodwill Go, 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 and second of all, step brother. All right, step. Oh, we got two of them. Oh, he and I are not related. Oh, uh, you're a little related. Okay. Yeah, I mean he ain't wrong. <laughs> no, shut up. Look <laughs> <laughs> how pissed he's getting. We talk he's about mad. Mesopotamia. We're talking about the Neolithic Revolution, which is responsible for inspiring huh? many great things in mankind, such as uh, the wheel, the uh, serial crime, the uh, curse of he's scripts. He's doodling on his journal. And of course, everyone's favorite subject. Mathematics. But Ren, am I boring you? Yep. Ren. He can't even hear you. To illuminate the class, but this is like a Charlie Brown episode, bro. Modern location, time period, and like I hear you, but I ain't hearing you. Our subject right now. I hear you, but I ain't listening. Ten thousand BC, give or take. Uh, Mesopotamia was located with the Tigris Euphrates River system in the northern part of the Fertile Crescent. Today, it's known as Iraq, but in a broader sense, the region also includes, you know, Iran, Syria, Kuwait, Turkey. May I use the restroom? Yeah. Great. Two years. It took me two years to solve This equation. This man doing pendas? And now, you, the most advanced class I teach here at Bookside, I'm challenging you, my pupils, to solve this problem. Now, there is an incentive. Anyone who solves this before the end of the academic school year will get an A in this class. The pit, pretty privilege, pretty pri privilege. Give it, get, let her uh, get it. Let her get the cookie. Sorry, let her get the cookie. You can have it. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> no way. Is that the new Julianne Huff book? I've been dying to read it. It absolutely is. Wow, that lady looked a lot like Julianne Huff. No way she's the lunch lady. Has anyone seen my apron? I can't find it. You were my favorite on Dancing with the Stars! Is that principal? Sorry, Melissa, oh. but your meal card has a zero balance. Oh, you don't got money in your account. You got to put in your code. Lun money Monday. I had a lunch lady to tell me. Money Monday. Money when my account was running low. Money Monday. Money Monday. And this happened to be a Friday. Mama's he said, Money Monday. Right. She's been away on a business trip. I, I got it, Miss Jacobs. I no, got it. You really don't have to. No, I got it. Noise. Your car just declined. Sunny day. Can you stand a rain? <laughs> what if his car just declined? That song's on playing. You ain't gonna say anything? Sunny day, can you stand the rain through the good times and bad? He's still looking at you. Oh, me? I got a date. Well, why don't you, girl? Why don't the girl do something? Hey, loser! You looking for this? For what? Hey, I'm gonna be late for work. That sucks for you. He took his bike. This <laughs> guy. Loser. 
Need a lift? No, that, that, that's okay. I can Come on, say yes! Come on, it's the least I could do after you paid for my lunch. Come on. Oh, you tell me you were hiring baddies. I can't believe we're seniors already. It's crazy. Yeah, certifiably insane. Because we're moving on and we can't slow down. These memories are playing like a film without a sound. Did you just quote vitamin C? Did you just catch me quoting vitamin C? <laughs> my mom used to play that song constantly. Uh, it's been living in my head rent free forever. Well, I mean, that probably has more to do with Packable than her. I love Canon and D. As corny as it sounds, I already know I'm going to play it on my wedding. Wait, me too. Well, besides getting married, do you have any other plans for after graduation? Uh, no, not really, other than working and getting my own place. And working some more? <laughs> What's he writing? Wait, hold up. Call me sometime. Ah! Thanks for the ride. Anytime. Oh, you don't got your phone though? Where's your phone? But oh! Ding she put a heart. She put a heart too. So uh -oh. in the running? Of course. Just not Harvard. Well, only Harvard is Harvard, but any school will be lucky to have you, my son. Thanks. Absolutely. You're late. Are there brothers? We started dinner without you. They're, they're brothers? Sorry, but your demon spawn over there and his little minions decided to steal a tire off my bike. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You will be sorry. And I don't like the tone of disrespect of your voice. Bro, put the thing in your pocket. They gonna take it away from you. Oh, you got a girl's number. Rip it up. You should have put it in your phone. Do not approve of you calling my son a demon spawn. What does that make me or his mother? A demon? Hmm? Well, I'm very glad to see that you're able to keep your wise mouth shut. Why don't you keep it that way? Dinner is in the fridge. Clean up after you're done. Blake, come to my study, please. You're not finished eating yet. This is a full plate of food, bro. Eat, eat that! Watch where you're going. What's this? No, oh, no, 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 no! She gave me a ride. Why would she give you a ride? I don't know. You remember that thing I said about you and your minions earlier? It's got me killed by your dad? I know you're dumb. You can have it gone so soon. It, like, just happened. Man, you think you're so smart. Okay, look. You're nothing but a loser, Ren. And Melissa? She doesn't even like you. How could she give me a number? I got a number! She put a heart sign. You need to just let her go. This man, yeah, this man, yeah, he might be wrong. This man, man, I don't want to say dumb, but this man might be just dumb. <laughs> he might just be dumb. She gave, me, she gave me a number, put a heart on. You, the only woman that could actually put up with you. Let's who that? It's your mom. Blake, what's the holdup? He's talking Coming. shit. Are you talking to me or Harvard? What's so funny? Nothing. No, Ren, really. I would love to know what exactly you find so amusing. Nothing. Please speak. Look, a minute ago when you had me up against the wall, you told me I'd be wise to keep my mouth shut? Again, this just happened a minute ago. What is it with you two? Is there a history of memory loss when you were of the family? I mean, something like that is likely why it's keeping Blake out of Harvard, amongst other things. Ooh. Okay. Speak. Let's have it. Have what? Blake doesn't have the grades. Okay. Blake doesn't have the grades. 
But you know what? He has, he has a rich daddy. <laughs> he has a rich daddy. He can get you in that school and why even snap of a finger. A father who went to Harvard. What did I do? What did I and tell you? My resources are gonna go to my son, who's going somewhere. Opposed to where you're going, which is nowhere. And when you turn 18 and you're finally out of this house, you'll be on your own. Completely on your own. Great, that's how I like it anyway. Mother loved you. You were her blood. And I loved your mother very much. And that's the only reason why you're still here under this roof. You got that clear? Nope. Come on, son. Mom and Dad get a little competitive. Sounds about main event, don't my man. I know you go to main event. As much as you want. Now call her, bro. Where's the number? Call her. Oh, that's your mom. <laughs> bro, she can save your life. Call her. The hell you doing, boy? <laughs> wow. Well done. Well There's done. some oh, yeah, some other world type math right here. You got it, bro. So you got it, bro. There's some other world type. I really type math right here. It's not Pendus, bro. This is Pendus backwards. Something else. Mendus. Genius, huh? No one wants to speak up. I can't get you this quiet when I'm teaching the lesson, and now just silence. It was me. He was coming. It was me. Nobody's going to take credit. All dramatic. It was me. I'm surprised he didn't lie. I'm surprised this man didn't lie. This man will probably with cat, bruh. I'm surprised he ain't capping. He don't he don't got no problem stealing, but he don't got no problem stealing things, but he got he can't cap. <laughs> that don't add up. You people who steal stuff again, you know what I'm saying? They don't have no problem capping. They don't got no problem lying. But now he can steal, but he can't lie. Whoop de do! Exam. First one finished. Yeah, you still got 30 minutes. So what? No, no, I don't need them. Yeah, looking like me. I don't need them. Sure. Yeah. Go back and check everything. No. Nope. I did. Uh, yep, I did. Now I think it's your turn. Yep. I'm giving it to you. Yep. It's, part, it's your job, buddy. Now, Ren, uh, let me ask you something. Why are you here? At the school? Well, I. I think it's strange that you're adding a Greek philosophy bonus question to a test on Mesopotamia, but yeah, sure, I'll give it a shot. I think it's hard to discern why any of us are here on any logical sense, but Socrates was actually able to- See, Ren, this is what I'm talking about. You're clearly highly intelligent. In your work, it's, it's exemplary, but it's obviously not challenging you. It's probably why you're reading comic books in my class. Graphic novels. So I'm gonna ask you again. Why are you here? Are you here in my classroom? Actually, I had to use the restroom. Excuse me. He's not using the restroom, baby. Skipping. Hey, you were supposed to text me. Hey, oh, man, you gotta text her? Now that you're here, I don't have to. JK, LLWID, question mark. Seriously, folks, it's not funny anymore. I'm just, I'm genuinely curious. This man's trying to figure it must out. must have solved this problem? Now, I can appreciate if you don't want to be found out like a fraud, like Nathan right here. But if a student among you solved this problem, come forward, receive my prayer. Who do you think he is? Please. Somebody solved Elias' problem and isn't speaking up about it. It's kind of Was funny you? seeing the tables turn off. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but just in case, I'll give you my number again. Twice! 
one, I forgot, two, I actually uno, dos. This man's scared of his own brother. Bro, come on, bro. Don't let him go. Come on! Don't tell me you scared now. Come on, man. Don't, you don't get mad at him. She don't even pay him no mind. Come on! You know, I, I forgot. I, I actually had to head back to class. Oh, okay, my Shelly, goodness. Okay? Bro, what are you doing? What do you mean you don't know? Do you have plans tomorrow night or not? Well, no. But you don't want to hang out with you! Come on! With me? I don't know. Bob, I was looking for you. You didn't happen to see anybody come into my class this morning. Oh, yeah, he on. There's a janitor, yep. Yeah. See if his memories are in fact. Yeah, he does. All right. Sure. It'll be fun. Great. It was him. I'll pick you up at six. Is this kid in trouble? On the contrary. Ren, were you my. This man. He's mad. He's mad at his girl going out with someone where his girl is going out with someone else, even though she gave him his number twice. Welcome. May I take your Or one or, or a half time. One and a half. Thought he wasn't supposed to be working here tonight. It must have been a mistake. I mean it's kinda hard to keep close tabs on this guy's work schedule. Yeah, that's one explanation. Can I um start you off with something to drink? Uh yeah, what do you say, babe? Oh, we'll take Hi. some cokes. <laughs> Yo, you're very graceful, Ren. Yo, you ever think about taking up ballet? Oh, the poor boy's gonna cry for his mommy. Oh, bro, this man's a menace. I forgot. She's not with us anymore. Oh, this she? man's a menace. Did he say? Yeah! 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 I'll promote violence, but yeah! Man, I got arrested. This man got arrested. <laughs> he had a smirk on his face. <laughs> yeah, he got what he deserved. Yeah, that man got what he deserved. Wait, what? <laughs> Ren? So, I'm just sitting there with my girlfriend, and he took and him to court. Talking about this charity event that I volunteer for at my church, and suddenly you honored my brother. Out of all people, decides to attack me out of nowhere for no reason. I mean, I don't know if he was trying to embarrass me in front of my girlfriend. I object. You saw something differently. This story's so cap of a giant tried to wear it on his head, cover his whole body. I have no idea what that means. It means he's lying. Your Honor. I lie, I cheat, I steal! It seems that we're at an impasse here, and it really comes down to the word of a fine young man against his. Nevertheless, you have witnesses. Someone had to pull him off my son, literally. This is your stepson. Unfortunately, yes. He said unfortunate, damn. Ren, do you have anything else to say for yourself? You may have had reasons, but it's still physical assault. Without bail money, you're gonna spend the night in jail. I'm done. Are you absolutely sure? Yeah, I'm sure. But I spend the night in jail and go home with them. Suit yourself. Man, too smart for jail anyway. He gonna get out of there. He gonna get out of there when one day. He gonna get out of there one day. Man, too smart for jail. I spoke to the judge. And I covered your bail. Now, if you don't get into any more fights and you attend my math class. Bro, not this again. Remember last episode, bro, the dude, the dude was paying for his bail because he wanted him on a track team because he saw how fast he ran away from the cops. But now this? Ready to go home. 
You know, I appreciate you, Mr. Elias, but uh, like I told the judge, I'll stay here where it's comfy. And go back home, yeah. I want to go back home. Yeah. I don't blame him. That's fair. And I apologize for my colloquial use of the word home. What I meant to say is you are welcome to stay with me. <laughs> if you like. With you? Uh, are, 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 are you allowed that? Is the students allowed to uh, 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 be over a teacher's house? I don't think you can do that. I think that's illegal nowadays. I know you can't ride with the teacher in their, in their car. A student can't ride with the teacher in the car. That's illegal. Well, you are being released to me. Then so they definitely can't go over their house. That's illegal. I mean, that's, that can't be legal. And I have a nowadays. Though. Look, I'm friends with the judge, and the court's not blind, Ren. There's plenty of animosity between you and your step family. Don't worry, he's sponsored by Amazon. I know you shop on Amazon. You candy off Amazon. But there is one more condition. Mm. What's that? What's the condition? Can you solve that? <laughs> this man's talking about serious matters. I'll let you do it in one question. You can bring up a damn map. Bro. The journal, the journal, bro. Pull up with the journal and the map problem that you need to solve for it to live with me. Oh, that's illegal. What you do? You can get arrested. <laughs> you can be in jail with them. You talking about you want them to live with you? You can live with them in jail. That's illegal. You can't have no students over your house. Thanks. Now call up that lady. Call up the baddie, man. Call up the baddie. Oh, and, uh... She want you! One more thing. What's that? What's this? Is it lunch menu? It's your new class schedule. Um, I'm good where I'm at. Yeah, but you could be better with that. I'm okay. You, you are sure? clearly very bright. Why are you hiding? I'm not hiding. I can't juggle work and AP classes. Okay, but... What about college and your future? I'm, I'm not going to college. So you're taking a gap year? <laughs> yeah, maybe a gap decade or lifetime. A gap lifetime. Look, I can't afford college. You ever heard of scholarships, buddy? Or grants? Ren, with a mind like yours and with the proper application. You ever heard of scholarship? Yeah. I'm bound to get an academic scholarship. Or a grant? Why did you answer that question and then not say anything about it, hmm? What? <laughs> you see Goodwill Hunting too many times? What's Goodwill Hunting? What's that? Movie? Obviously. That's a movie? I thought it was a TV show. Sound like a TV show. But level with me. I wasn't sure. What? I wasn't sure if I got the right answer. <laughs> what? It's a hard problem. I, I know. <laughs> It took me two years. Okay, and it so took him three. I, it took him thirty seconds. I was percent sure I was right. <laughs> I wasn't one hundred percent sure it wasn't wrong. So worst case scenario, I just messed up your blackboard. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't until Melissa told me that I knew for sure. Melissa. Melissa. Easy. <laughs> me and the teacher taking a light. See, me and the teacher got the same idea. Come on, man. Look, I'm just gonna say it, Ren. I think you need to have more confidence in yourself. You are capable of far more than you would give yourself credit for. Have you ever heard that a man's reach should exceed his grasp? <laughs> yeah. Robert Browning. I'm just afraid that you are surrendering your future because of your past. Don't do that. Do you know how many times I got that problem wrong before I got it right? I guesstimate somewhere around 730. <laughs> that is impressive. No, not really. I just multiplied the number of days in a year by two and then oh, that... The point is that it was, it was hard. <laughs> and I finally solved it because I kept trying. I never gave up. I'm 
just afraid that you are stopping before you start because you are afraid. Neither am I. Look, I, I, I don't let your, your fear. You know what I'm saying? I'll let you lead your full potential. You know the day I had. I mean, yeah. I could, <clears throat> yes. Don't let your fear stop you from reaching your potential. Your full potential. Mr. Elias? Yeah? Thank you. Let's find the intervals of the function that are concave up, concave down, and the inflection points. Also, Let's look for the local maximum and minimum numbers, if there are any. Blake? Um. <laughs> now ask Melissa, don't talk to him. I want to see Melissa. Anyone want to give it a shot? Where's Ooh. Melissa? Give it to her. Anyone at all? Ren. Well, I know we need to look for the second derivative and the critical points of fx. Given that fx equals x to the third power minus 4x to the second power plus 5x minus 2, let's find the second derivative. Let's win. Oh, I hate it when teachers do that. Man, you write it yourself. I just said it. Oh, why you tell me to say it? I can just board it up. <laughs> hey, Ren, did you get that shirt? Behind the school dumpster? Okay, knock it off. Oh, my God. Okay, well, it's fx equals 3x to the second power minus 8x plus 5. Then you would insert all the variables in 1, 2, and 3. And See, bro, if I were you, I would have hey, I would been getting straight A's, too. I would have asked him for help for everything, bro. I would have asked him a copy of his paper. You know what I'm saying? After he got the same class. I'm sitting next to him. You were sitting next to him, but you just ruined it, bro. See, you could have taken advantage of this. You could have been taking advantage. That would have made you even smarter. But nah, you just want to make fun of him. What do you do? Come in. That hey, Melissa? Oh, I thought you bought Melissa. So, I got you a few things. Oh, well, you didn't have to do that. I know. I just thought... Are you text her yet? You text Melissa yet? Oh, I just beat up. Yeah, I just beat up your boyfriend. <laughs> you should get with me now. Mr. Les. Oh What's this? wow, this is nice. Yeah, Thank new you, clothes. Mr. Les. Uh, what happened there? Oh, it's uh, it, it's nothing. That is not nothing, Ren. It's a huge bruise. Look, I, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. That looks pretty big. You know I'm... I, I'm, I'm, only, I'm only here to help. Okay. <laughs> you know... My dad was an alcoholic. And he, uh, he would beat my mom and me. I would step into Defender and I'd often get the worst of it. Heard this story before, unfortunately. I unfortunately. I was coming home to. I've heard it. He was either always yelling or he was silent. And I never really knew what was worse. But he was always insulting us. If it wasn't for you, he would say, like he was blaming us for his <sighs> miserable life. But um, yeah, he he would threaten us that that we would be out on the street if it wasn't for him. And I was stuck in that for a really long time until one day I realized that. My dad is just a man. A man who was very wrong. He made me the man I am today. He made me want to teach. To 
help students realize their full potential. So you're trying to do what, what you people said they could or couldn't do. My mom um, was the most amazing woman. You see, she was my biggest cheerleader. You got dropped off by your mom and Jenga. <laughs> Life was so good with her. She took such good care of me. Are playing video games together? Oh, you got dropped off by your, by your mom in Monopoly too, huh? She was my best friend. She put you on the music? Okay, she put you on. At first, I was happy when she met Gerald. It was good to see her with someone, and he seemed like an okay guy. And they loved each other. Propose. It was an adjustment. Yeah, a little bit. You know you had a son? And for a while, things weren't so bad. You know she had a son? Or he had a son. Then mom got sick. About a month after mom passed away, Gerald lost his job. The, as soon as mom got bro, sick, where's the other dude at? Now, where's Gerald, the, where you get a son? Where's the son? It started to change. Blake and I never really got along. I don't know if Gerald ever really liked me at all, but he loved Blake. Not only did he not seem to care about me, whatever it was that was making him so angry about his job, or mom, or his life, he took that out on me. Gerald and Blake inherited quite a bit of money. And that mellowed Gerald out a little. He's still giving me a hard time. But I think he realizes that pushing me at this point isn't in his best interest. I'm not afraid of him. Not anymore. I used to be, but he's not helping me out at all. As soon as I turn 18, he wants me out of the house. And... I don't really want to be in it. I guess from all the stress at home and having to work, I didn't think advanced classes were going to work for me. So I enrolled in the below average classes. I mean, come on, well, what's the difference, right? It's not like I'm going to get into college. I never took an AP class. I heard, I heard it was like a scam, bro. They might as well just take a, 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 a regular class. At least that's what I heard. They still hate you. Mostly smacks, light stuff. I mean, he's he's only a. Uh, those marks are from a while ago. Struggling with moderate to severe Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis? Talk to your doctor about number one prescribed. And um, it was a bad night for the both of us. But that was the last time. You know, it was the worst beating he ever gave me. But it's also the only one that, that he's ever apologized for. He apologized? And I don't think he meant to. <laughs> you know, that is not okay. No matter how many times it happens, it is not okay, Ren. And even if it's only once, it is not okay. And from the sounds of it, that was way more than once. Look, your brilliance is going to get you into a prestigious school all on its own. And I am here to help, okay? So please, forget what your family said. Because the biggest mistake you can make in life is to not live up to your potential because someone else is intimidated by it. Oh, could you attend by someone else? Vice versa. What now? What you gonna do? Yeah, that's what, yeah, yeah, we thinking the same thing. All right. See, I can think like an adult. He's an adult, and we have the same mindset. We thinking the same thing. Hi, I would like to report a case of domestic abuse. 
It's not called snitching, y'all. It's called. It's not called. It's called doing the right thing. Okay, there's a difference between snitching and doing the right thing. This right here is doing the right thing. It's not snitching. Yes, Gerald Hughes. Is there a problem, officers? I would say so. You're under arrest. What? You got my daddy arrested. Hey, you. I'm sorry about what Blake did to you. Well, she already I'm told you? How'd she know? How'd she find out? Who told her? Now or something? No, I would told her myself, but you know, I wanted to come from me. I don't talk to him anymore. Oh. oh <laughs> Go ahead, man. Him. Go ahead, man. She gave you an alley. She gave you an alley. I don't talk to him anymore. She gave you an alley. She threw it up. What you gonna do? Well, well that's had to improve your life quite a bit. Hit you the with the high, nice behind the back pass. What you gonna do with it, bro? It has. And I'd rather talk to you. And you didn't know that? Got my dad thrown in jail. What are you talking about, man? You know what? I'm so sick of you. I'm sick of all of you. Get off me. You know what? Let's end this, man. Me and you. Ooh! Hey, help me. hey, knock it off. Ah! Hey, knock. hey, no, get off. Come on, boy. Get off. You're done. Come on, let's go. That's a minute, bro. Close the schools. This man got a. Mr. Les, did you, did you call someone? About what I told you? Ren, I was only trying to help. What your stepfather is putting you through is. Thank you. I haven't had someone care about me in a long time. No, don't play. No, don't play the music. Where'd you get, get with Melissa? Did you get with? Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness, no, the music playing over it. All right. Man graduated. Hanging with Melissa. He got accepted to Harvard. Okay. He got accepted too. I guess. His man, he, he can't believe it. Piece of advice that my favorite teacher. His graduation day. He's the reason I'm staying here today and will be attending Harvard on a full scholarship. One of the biggest mistakes you can make in life. Hey, bro, hey, hey, good thing. Good, they had another secret that he was living with um, one of his teachers. You can't do that. That's illegal. Good thing. Hey, good. Hey, y'all know how to keep a secret for sure. Y'all know how to keep a secret. Potential simply because someone else. That means he was riding. That means he was riding in the car with them and everything. Dude, that's illegal. That's illegal nowadays. So way to keep that secret. It's okay to be afraid, but don't let that fear stop you from following your path, no matter how difficult. Yep. And uh, I relate to this too. I relate to this too. Maybe you'll wind up blazing a new trail. Yep. Where's Melissa? Where's she at? All right. Hi, mom. I'm sorry I took so long to come back here. Uh, you know, life's been pretty crazy. Um, but I hope I'm making you proud. Always. I miss you, but I know you're still with me. I love you, Mom. She loves you. Where they going? Where we going? 